Most of you will hopefully know the main story behind all of this. All the details I gave them pretty much in the Dangerous Golf videos that I made. If you don't know what Dangerous Golf is, well, let me introduce you, my friend, to what like, Dangerous Golf is. Dangerous Golf is a game that was created by Three Fields Entertainment. And this game was made to kickstart Three Fields Entertainment. If you don't know who Three Fields Entertainment is, Three Fields Entertainment are, they are the old Burnout developers. The leads of the studio and a lot of the guys from there left EA back in 2013, I think it was, and formed their own studio, set out to make their own games. Well, they made Dangerous Golf. Very resemblant of Burnout. They even had their like DJ guy in there as well, like DJ Atomica from Burnout. They had him in the game and everything, and they're still supporting the game. They're still updating the game. It's absolutely awesome. If you have not picked it up, get it, because it does not only give you a solid game, but it gives them more reason and more money to put into the next game, which is going to be a driving game. How do you know they're going to be making a driving game for you? They could be lying. They could be lying straight into your face. Well... I can confirm that they are not lying and they are going to make a racing game. How do you know this? Are you a magician, Theo? Like, are you psychic? How do you know you could... <laughs> he tweeted. Twitter, the website where it's like, got tweets and stuff. He, he tweeted workers begun on a driving game. So. But I'm really excited for this because as you guys know, I'm a big Burnout fan. Not when Need for Speed and Burnout mix. That's a different story, but I love it, the two separate instances. And we know that EA basically brushed off Burnout. Burnout is gone, as we know it. Whereas these guys, they're not making a Burnout, but they're making a game that is going to be a spiritual successor that is Burnout. Basically, we're going to get a Burnout game. Stop your whinging. I spent countless, countless hours on Burnout Paradise. It was one of my favorite games to play on PS3. Me and my friends used to play all the challenges, that sort of thing. And I thought with this video, I've, I've made points in the past in random videos playing Burnout games and playing uh, Dangerous Golf in what I would like to see in a new Burnout game. And I thought this is the perfect video to do it in one bundled video. And you guys in the comments, so let me know what you want to see in a new Burnout game. I'm pretty sure you guys will love what I've got to say, but I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Again, the first thing I said, I love Paradise. Why did I love Paradise? Because of the multiplayer aspect. Now, thinking of the size of the studio, considering the fact that they are a small studio, I'm going to say that I want a closed track burnout, at least for the crash mode. And the crash mode needs to properly return. I think everyone will agree that the Burnout Paradise crash mode, or the only like showtime, that was called showtime, was absolutely pathetic. What was that? It was awful. I don't know what that was. I didn't use, I, I only used it to claim the roads, that kind of thing, and get the special cars. But no, that, that's got to go. That's got to go. We're going to have the proper crash mode. If you don't know what the proper crash mode is, go play a classic Burnout game from Burnout 2 all the way to the one before Paradise. Just play through any of them. Burnout 3, Burnout Revenge, Burnout, what's the other one? I don't bloody know. The crash mode consists of you choosing a car at the beginning, driving that car, hitting traffic, and racking up as many points as you can, getting the explosion, that sort of thing. That's what we need. That's what we need to return to Burnout on the next one. Not the actual Burnout, but like the spiritual success of Burnout. I mean, if it returns on Burnout as well, I don't mind. But... And what needs to be new to this crash mode is that multiplayer needs to be a thing. That's one major point I have. Crash mode with multiplayer. It needs to be done. There needs to be two different modes at the least. One mode needs to be you take it in turns and crash as you normally do and try and get the best score. Second would be crashing together with your friends. Maybe with a group of three, four, how many other friends. You will go into this game and you shall, my friends, smash. And then your friends will smash at the same time or maybe afterwards, I don't know. And basically rack up a combination score. And that goes off to another leaderboard separate from the first one. You get the idea. Have some multiplayer involvement in the crash mode on Burnout. And that's a way to update it and make it. No. What is Panthers trying to ruin the game? Why does he want closed track? I'll tell you why I want closed track. There's one or two or three or a million advantages to why I prefer closed track. Again, they're a small studio, so that's keep, keeping that in consideration. They can do closed tracks and just have a load of them. That's another thing. They can have lots and lots of different varied areas. Yes. And we can have varied weather conditions which we can choose. That sort of thing. So those will be the main two points. There are little points as well, but the main two points I want to get across are that, again, 
you will have more varied selection and they're a small studio. So I'm not really expecting them to make a massive open world map with living and breathing traffic and everything like this. I mean, they may find a way to do that. If they do that, go ahead. But the crash mode needs to be sectioned off parts and that is my, that needs to be done. Do not give us another show time or I will be annoyed. But those are my main points. What I would love to see is maybe community suggestions for the cars. As you do paid DLC, I will a million percent buy paid DLC. As you know, racing game guys, we love paid DLC, honestly, because it means we give you money and you give us lots of nice cars. But what you need to do is something that other racing games don't seem to do at all. And that is listen to what we want as cars in the game and DLC. If we get cars that we want in DLC, obviously there's more chance that we might buy them. Who would have thunk it? Obviously we need the iconic burnout gameplay and I'm just missing all of this out. I just, I want myself some boost. I want some elimination racer taking down AI, AI taking down me while we're trying to race. Trying, you know, just lots of things like that. Having a lot of multiplayer needs to be in there as well. Maybe playing the main progression on, having the option to play the main progression in co-op or multiplayer or not have a proper progression as such and just have it so it is a multiplayer thing like, like thinking about it, Need for Speed Rivals tried to do this all drive thing and it basically gave everybody the world, the consistent world and where everybody was doing the same thing. It doesn't really work when you have a storyline, but if you're playing a game like Burnout and you join, you press on a race that you're going on to progress onto the next race and you join people with other players, I'm not going to complain. It makes it, you got to obviously balance it in where they don't have to come first place to obviously mas master it because obviously some people probably playing single player or multiplayer, but you get the idea. Multiplayer could be the main progression, but have the option for offline as well. That, that needs to be there. But if it is closed track, I want at least one area or a couple of areas that are say parts of the map that are like a parking lot or like a construction site. And those aren't races. Those are open session areas with jumps and that sort of thing. So we just prat about with our friends. It means that you don't have to make a full scale, you know, open world, but it's a step in that direction. Because obviously in the future, I would love you to do open world. But this game, I think, closed track, but I have areas for us to, to muck about. And this one, I thought a little bit about before. I'm not exactly sure if I would want it. It's something that you guys at least have to consider. And that's why I'm throwing it in this video. I was wondering, my friends, about having upgrades for your cars. Because normally with Burnout, once you get a car, it stays at that level. You cannot upgrade that car, which means when a better and bigger car comes along, you're not going to use that car ever again. And a lot of us have favorite cars that we absolutely love. Some of the DLC cars, for example, got outmatched by some cars that you unlock. And I love those DLC cars, and I would love to be able to actually match against those cars. So maybe some kind of upgrades start balancing the cars out and make them about the same. At the top level, they should be about the same. It's burnout. It's more about if you're taking people down, for you boosting at the right times for taking jumps and some people staying on the road to undergo the people going on jumps. It's a lot of intense gameplay. So the top end should be the same, but consider having upgrades in the game. I think that would definitely improve the game or at least change it in some way but other than that there isn't a whole lot i can think of. obviously like maybe just choosing some vinyls and choosing colors and this basically it's, it should be in the game it's expected the colors thing but you get the idea let me know down in the comments what you think of this news what you'd like to see in the next spiritual successor to burnout personally i'm ridiculously excited for this because i love myself some burnout when it's not in need for speed don't 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 like try and make it need for, don't do that and a little shout out to the developers here i would absolutely love to help you in some way with this game and like with it would be you know giving you ideas or helping you out with like say have some some live streams that sort of thing on the game coverage of the game i'm here for you friends don't worry we work hand in hand. Let's, let's do this all right so how can we make this game the best burnout there has ever been you guys need to go and show them some love. I'll leave their Twitter links and their website and stuff in the description. Check them out. Three Fields Entertainment. They will absolutely love if they get some, like, obviously some people giving them uh, information on what they would like to see in the game, that sort of thing. And then, obviously, showing them some love by buying Dangerous Golf. It's on sale now on PSN and Xbox Live and all that sort of kind of stuff, I think. But buy that game, and that instantly says, we want more from you, and they will have more money to spend on this burnout spiritual successor so thank you so much for watching this video let me know your thoughts as i said be sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new and i will see <coughs> and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.